Hi, I'm Adam Stevenson. I'm a solution architect at SSW and the principal mentor at Fire Bootcamp. I've just finished my first application using Visual Studio 2015, MVC6 and AngularJS. I'm so excited to be building enterprise web apps leveraging all the front end best practices developed by the JavaScript community and using my C-sharp MVC and web API skills for the back end and doing it all with the productivity of Visual Studio. I've got to say though, there's definitely a lot of pain involved. Moving to MVC 6 and Visual Studio 2015 is a massive change. It's as big a change as changing from web forms to MVC. There's a lot of new concepts to get your head around, technologies to learn and best practices to discover. There are major changes to the solution structure, which we'll have a look at in a future video. We used to have XML config files. These are gone now and in their place we've got JSON based config files. For example, web.config has been replaced by config.json. We only use NuGet now for getting .NET Framework based packages. We use BOW for front end packages and NPM for node packages. Now instead of getting client side libraries like Twitter Bootstrap or Moment from NuGet, we use BOW as our client side package manager. To add client side packages, we simply add them to bower.json. The other package manager you need to get your head around is NPM, Node Package Manager. We use packages.json to configure which node packages we're going to use for tasks like bundling, minification, compiling TypeScript and less, and other front end build processes. Which brings me to my next point. We now need a build process for our front end, not just our back end. A typical front end build process involves compiling less to CSS, compiling TypeScript to JavaScript, building source maps and JavaScript reference files, running JavaScript linters and unit tests, bundling and minification. To do this, we use a JavaScript task runner like Grunt or Gulp. In ASP.NET 5, we now have the concept of a www.root folder. This is where all of our static files go. It gives us a clearer separation of our code files and our static files. It gives us performance improvements and better security as only files in the www.root folder can be downloaded directly. Okay, yeah, it's all a bit much. It took us weeks of working with the new stack to work out how everything fit in together and our best practices are still evolving. But we want to help you out by sharing what we've learned so far. So stay tuned and we'll be putting together lots of great content to help you get up to speed as easily as possible and get shipping awesome apps on the latest technologies. Thanks for listening and please drop me a tweet with your feedback.